this is Ruthann. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to be doing a mini haul film today for four new fragrances that I've recently picked up. Uh, they're very interesting fragrances and they're one. none of them are ones that are often talked about on YouTube at all. So let's get right into this. The first one is look at that bottle. Look at that bottle. That is Liz Claiborne. And I'm going to show you the box. So this is just, there's nothing more 80s than this. Now this fragrance has come out in several different bottles over the years. This is the most current formulation. I picked this up at TJ Maxx. Let's see if we can, okay, TJ Maxx, you can see the price there, $14.99. So very inexpensive for a full 100ml bottle. This was released in 1986. It's considered a floral perfume. Top notes include marigold, carnation, green notes, peach, freesia, lily of the valley, and bergamot. Mid notes are narcissus, tuberose, lily of the valley, base, oak moss, sandalwood, musk, and amber. The way I experienced this fragrance is it's a lot, it's a lot more green in the opening than I expected. It's kind of a peppery marigold mixed with green notes at first spray. And then as it dries down, it becomes more of a musky, powdery, floral fragrance. It's warm-toned, musky, dry. It's also very happy. And I've never owned this before. Uh, in the 80s, I was really into YSL's Opium. But this reminds me a lot of fragrances that I smelled when I was in college. I went to an all-girls school, and this I came right back to my memory when I first sprayed this on and wore it over the next few hours. And you can see I've already put a dent in it. I bought it over the weekend while I was out of town and, and wore it quite a bit. So I have a really good sense of it. It's not a super complex fragrance, even though it does have a lot of notes but it's very tasteful, very feminine. Uh, it's very, I would say, predominantly a musky fragrance, but that peppery marigold and the other powdery florals really make it beautiful. I really, really enjoyed it, and I enjoyed it more than I expected I would. Performance is in the four to six hour range. Again, it's a very happy, affordable floral, to my nose, it does not smell dated, but if you know me and my channel at all, you know that I strongly reject all ageism in perfumery. If you like it, wear it, and it's not at all offensive. Very easy wear, highly recommended, especially if you can get it at a good price. Really uh, exceeds my expectations. All right, next up, I have one that's kind of interesting. This is called S. de Scherer. Now my French isn't very good, but this is from the house of Jean-Louis Scherer, which is a French perfumery house. This is a more modern take on what they're usually their classic formulations. Uh, okay, this is a, a tester bottle, so it doesn't have a cap. It just has that little thing. Um... I can get it out of the box here. There we go. It is a real classic looking bottle, but don't let that fool you. It's actually a very modern scent. This is a fragrance that would be easily acceptable, I think, to all ages. This was released in 2006 and is considered a Shepra floral. However, nothing really about this in my wearing it screams Shepra. Top notes are pepper and bergamot, mid is tiari flower, flower rose lily of the valley. In the base we have vanilla, sandalwood, patchouli, and musk. As I have sprayed this and worn it, I experience it as a peppery opening, but that's not a very strong sense. You know how some fragrances are really peppery, almost to the point that they're a little annoying? This is not like that at all. This is a fine French perfume that is extremely well blended. Even though it doesn't have a lot of complexity in the notes, it really smells and wears like a complex scent. Primarily what I get out of that is the tiari flower lends itself to a real tropical feel 
and the tiari flower and the rose really come out equally and then as it dries down you get this warm wonderful vanilla with sandalwood i would say vanilla is the strongest base note with sandalwood also playing a part i don't get patchouli or musk but i think that they add to the complexity of the dry down of the scent again wears like a really warm sexy french complex french perfume even though it's doesn't have a lot of complex notes it's extremely well blended slightly sweet floral it's very feminine and just absolutely gorgeous and it's I didn't expect it to have a tropical feel at all but it definitely does this is one that I would take take totally on a tropical vacation going down to Mazatlan going down to St. Thomas something like that and this would be my evening fragrance but man it's just gorgeous I think this is a great spring and summer perfume and that's what I'm going to really bring it out um, next year highly recommend I don't remember exactly what I paid for this it was in the 30 to 40 dollar range so it's not very expensive really highly recommend it it's absolutely stunning Next up I have, this is one that was recommended to me by some of my viewers, so if you are watching, I want to thank you. This is Ted Lapidus. This is a French perfume house, and the perfume is Rumba. I don't know if it, is it pronounced Rumba? Rumba? <laughs> I pronounce it Rumba, but anyway, this is the bottle. Oh, this is the bottle. This is a musky oak moss fragrance. This was first released in 1989. It's considered an amber floral. It is really complex. Like I, I'm not going to use up all of your time in reading out the notes. But if you look this up on Fragrantica, it is shocking, shocking how many notes are in here. I'm going to give you the basics. Top, we have plum, peach, mirabelle orange blossom, basil, basil, now that to me makes me very interested, and bergamot. And then there are other notes too. In the mid, the first notes are honey, marigold, carnation, tuberose, heliotrope, jasmine, and many, many more. In the base, there's also tons of notes. Leather, oak moss, ambergris, styrax, um, yeah, and then it goes on and on and on. So this if you like fragrances like Charlie, if you like um, Halston, you are going to like this. This is a complex, sexy, old school, 1970s feel. It's loud, proud. It's like, um, it's a Sheepra that is absolutely gorgeous. If you like Sheepra's, this is very inexpensive. I think I paid about $23, $23.99. It is a, um, it's not an oak moss bomb. I would say primarily the three notes I get out of this are the carnation and marigold that are very dry, crisp, peppery florals with oak moss and um, musk in the base. I don't get any leather specifically or sandalwood it's just an old school classic beauty and thank you so much for turning me on to this perfume I really am going to enjoy this when I wear it the, my first comparison is Charlie it's like if you took Charlie and made it much much more complex and much much more expensive and classy and it's like a very expensive form of it Smells expensive, smells like money. If you like Sheepra's, this is one you definitely need to get in your life. Absolutely gorgeous, and I'm so happy I have it. I hope that it's never discontinued. And then I have one more. This is a Flanker 2 Rumba. Look at that bottle. Isn't that gorgeous? This is Rumba Passion, and here I'm going to show you the box. Also by Ted Lapidus, Rumba Passion. This is a newer release. I don't actually have the year. This is an EDT, and um, it's a very sweet, fruity floral. So it's nothing at all like 
the original Roomba that this is a flanker of. It is uh, officially classified as an amber floral. This is a sweet, fruity floral. And in the top, we have orange blossom. That's it. That's the only top note. In the mid, rose and jasmine, base, honey, patchouli, and vanilla. When I first spray this, I get a blast of a patchouli sweet floral. But it's a honeyed sweet floral, so that gives it a lot of warmth. It's not a sugar sweet floral. It's a honeyed floral. So I would say the way I experience this is a super sweet honeyed floral with a bit of patchouli, and then as it dries down, the vanilla comes out more. Also, a little boozy. My first impression, the very first time I sprayed it on skin, was it smells like a fruity, tropical drink. However, when I say tropical, I mean that only in the most general sense. This really does not have any tropical florals. doesn't smell like a tropical vacation. Like I said, it just smells like something I would expect in a, in a sweet drink. Uh, it's very pretty. Love the bottle. Just really classy and gorgeous. Very inexpensive. This was under $20 on eBay, you guys. Just absolutely beautiful, sweet floral. If you like sweet, classy florals, it does not smell cheap. It smells very expensive. Again, this is a very well-blended Parisian perfume. Very affordable. Highly recommend it. Now, this is one that I may do. I may do, uh, actually, a review of both of these once I've been wearing them longer. But like I said, I just got them. So I'm not going to give for full reviews now. But stay tuned. If you want me to do full reviews in the future, please let me know in the comments. Uh, I, tr I do read all of my comments, and I really appreciate all of you very much watching this video. And thank you for watching. I will see you on the next one. Have a great day.